DIY Tony L coming to you with another project. I've got this old Bose Acoustamass um, subwoofer. It's just a passive subwoofer. There's no power to it. And I thought, why not make it a powered sub? So I started taking apart what you see. Here's the back panel where your speaker's wires from your receiver go in, then your speaker wires goes out to the Bose cubes. So, took the back plate off. Pretty simple, just six screws. Three down each side, yank that off. No problem at all. This is the crossover. It was attached to the back of the board with four screws that were right here. Nothing to it, just pull, pull these four screws off. These were the terminals for the woofers. These were the terminals, termina, terminals I can't talk this morning, for the uh, cubes. I'm gonna hang on to this uh, crossover. I might use it in some other type of project later. I mean, it still works. A uh, little bit of issue when I took this apart was it has two six inch uh, woofers in there. Well, the outside diameter is about six inches. They're really about five and a half. But when I measured them with my meter, they are six ohms. And the plate amp I have uh, will go down to four ohms. So if I parallel these two speakers, it will go down to three ohms. So I didn't want to take a chance of messing up my amp. So I actually ordered a couple speakers to go in there. Play that. These are just Dayton Audio five and a quarter, which the outside di diameter is almost six inches. So they fit in there pretty good. The actual cutout inside there is um, fits this pretty well. I won't have to do any more cutting to drop these speakers in. I just have to make some new speaker holes. Uh, these speakers are shielded. I mean, just in case. I don't even know if shielding is important anymore with today's technology. But they are shielded. So my plan is to somehow, here's my plate amp. That's a class D plate amp at 100 watts. And my plan is to mount this to the back of the original, the original bat. So I'm going to try to make a cutout so this sits right in here and then drops in, wire the speakers up, and I'm finished. Um, the speakers I did get are four of them, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to wire them in series to bring the four ohms up to eight ohms, which this amp can handle eight ohms fine. So that's where I'm at right now. So my step is, it's going to be yank these two speakers out, get the other two speakers in wired up and get this plate amp mounted on the back. If it does not mount on the back, then I'll have to get a board, retrofit it to the back of here, and then mount the plate amp to the board. But I'm hoping I can get it on the original back. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get started cutting out the back of this to see if this plate amp will fit. All right, I've got the uh, some measurements of the back of this plate amp. 
you can see it has the lip, so I need that cut out so the electronics fit down inside. So I'm gonna mark this uh, back up and start cutting. got it marked up I don't know if you can see this on the camera but I got a top line my two side lines my bottom line is going to go right across the edge of there that's going to be the opening I'm not going to worry about these two uh, speaker wire connectors I'm going to just leave them they won't be connected to anything and it, it should be fine so get some jigsaw and some drill and I'm gonna see if I can get this cut out pretty even and square all right, here goes nothing. Punch some holes down in here so I can drop my jigsaw down in. As I thought, uh, some of the plastic melted back together. So I'm gonna have to go back over a few spots and get it to free up. sides are pretty much loose. One more. Hey, if you know a better way to cut plastic without a melt them back together, um, hit me up in the comments. clean up the edges but let's uh, do a check see if this plate have to drop in here another thing I haven't did yet which uh, you should do if you're building stuff you know, this stuff just came in a couple days ago and I haven't tested it I need to plug it all up test it so make sure the plate amps work make sure the woofers are good before you know it runs out of warranty time A hey. drops in here. So I'm happy with that. So this is the back of the Bose Acoustamass. This drops right in. I'll use these screw holes that came with the plant amp to uh, mount it to this board. I'll use these four screw holes to mount it back to the to the box. So it did work out pretty good. It does have, the plate amp does have a foam rubber type gasket to help seal the air. And the back of the subwoofer box has the same thing that seals it around here. So it should be good as far as not losing, you know, any pressure uh, in the box. You always want to have your box sealed as much as possible. So my other issue with this amp is 
it drops down in pretty deep. And there is a lip inside the subwoofer box. So if this doesn't drop down all the way in, I'm gonna have to alter the inside of the box a little bit so the plate amp will fit all the way down in. So I'm gonna check that next. All right, I got it cut out. Um, I'm gonna do a dry fit. And see if everything works. And I've already did some measurements, so I really kind of know it's not gonna fit. No. You see it's pushing the amp up. So, I'm going to have to do some cutting on the actual inside of the box so this amp will fit flush. And I'll show you here. So you can see down in there, it has a, it has a lip right inside there. So if I trim that lip out, I should be able to get my amp to fit flush in there. So back to the jigsaw and some cutting. There's the back. Let's go for the amp. Oh, nice fit. Drops down in there nice and flush. All right, got everything cut out and wired up. Screwed down the old plate. I had to lose the two center screws there and there. So you can see, got my two woofers, woofers wired. Um, in series, they're four ohms, so I wired them in series. It goes up to eight ohms. Got it connected to my plate amp. So now all that's left to do is screw down the plate amp. I did hook it up to my stereo there just to make sure it works before I buttoned everything up. So now I'm just going to button it up and should be good to go. All right, project's completed. Hooked everything up, tested it out. Sounds pretty good. There's the play amp mount it. Um, I still might check for some air leaks around the plate. I might have to seal that up a little more. Um, this is a 100 watt um, digital um, class D, whatever you want to call it, amplifier. Not very strong, but it works out okay. It's given me enough bass for what I wanted. I just wanted to help uh, supplement the lower frequencies from some small towers that I've built. Any questions, uh, send me a comment and I'll get back with you. DIY Tony L.
Thanks for watching.